We poured a ton of trust into them. I mean, anytime you needed an answer, we Google it. Bam, it's right there in your fingertips the whole time. I mean, we were ready to burn down libraries in the name of Google. Bing can't even incite a book burning. We trusted Google with all of the answers, so much so that we even changed terms like let's search for it or let's research it to Google it. It's a noun and a verb. And when new search engines pop up, they're described as googly. I mean, now it's an adjective too. Facebook was supposed to connect the world and help the spread of ideas and discourse, but now we can't trust whose profile is infected with a data mining bug or, or who's just a troll. Amazon was supposed to help us acquire things and Apple is the spread of all this technology. And all of these companies have betrayed our trust. You are adding value. Facebook taps into our instinctive need not only to be loved, but to love others, mostly through pictures that create empathy, catalyze, and reinforce our relationships. Let's continue our journey down the torso. Amazon is our consumptive gut. The instinct of more is hardwired into us. The penalty for too little is starvation and malnutrition. Open your cupboards, open your closets. You have 10 to 100x times what you need. Why? Because the penalty for too little is much greater than the penalty for too much. So more for less is a business strategy that never goes out of style. It's the strategy of China, it's the strategy of Walmart, and now it's the strategy of the most successful company in the world, Amazon. You get more for less into your gut, digest, send it to your muscular and skeletal system of consumption. Moving further, once we know we will survive, the basic instinct, we move to the second most powerful instinct, and that is to spread and select the strongest, smartest, and fastest seed to the four corners of the earth, or pick the best seed. This is not a timepiece. I haven't wound it in five years. It's my vain attempt to say to people, if you mate with me, your children are more likely to survive than if you mate with someone wearing a Swatch watch. Amazon is trying to go for a monopoly of all things and treats its employees like crap. Apple is hiding money offshores and doesn't treat its employees overseas very well and keeps updating itself like constantly. I mean, we, we get it, Apple. Okay, you are trying to better yourself. But, but do you need to tell us every day that you're better than the day before? Uh, can, can we just take it back to like a monthly update or, or, like, or like an update where you're like, hey, we're finally treating our employees at Foxconn pretty well. Like, only three people tried to kill themselves this month. Like, if that's an update, then fine. Then that's something you can show me. But I don't, I don't need a daily update about the fact that you fixed a little thing in your operating system. Fix your Foxconn operating system. And this betrayal is going all the way up the corporate ladder with the most recent YouTube adpocalypse. I mean, advertisers pulled away from YouTube, which is owned by Google, because they were showing up on channels that promoted neo-Nazi philosophies, pedophilia, and comedian Jimmy Dore. All right, okay, yeah, I know it sounds like I just equated Jimmy Dore to neo-Nazis and pedophiles, but that's how CNN reported this story. They, they were talking about advertisers like Nissan Leaf and Disney pulling away from YouTube because their ads are showing up on videos that did not match their brand ideologies, and then they just dropped Jimmy Dore's name like he's part of the same riffraff as neo-Nazis. Oh, you know, those pro-truth, anti-war comedians. You know what they like? Bigotry, eugenics, and the fury of the Dark Lord Satan himself with a side of pedophilia by a Nissan. When corporations can't trust other corporations to get us sheep to buy their shit, you know it's a real big mess. I mean, this is the problem with the polytheism of consumerism. Too many choices. And Facebook was collaborating with Cambridge Analytica to just 
help us decrease the burden of our choices. You know, when, when, when those senators offered Mark Zuckerberg that ice cream, he just went to the mall with the soft serve, you know, where you have the chocolate and the vanilla and maybe the mixy swirly thing in the middle. You know, he didn't, he didn't go to Baskin Robbins with 31 choices because he knows there's only two and sometimes you, you mix the two to make just one choice.